Okay, so we've just got a few days left until Christmas, and Brayden's still at school for his last day. Um, I think I've got like an hour left until we have to go get him. Maybe two hours. Okay, either way, Madison's asleep, Brayden's in school. I need to knock out a vanity for Madison. So I'm gonna go do that right now, but first I need to find my tape measure. You know, if I put everything back in its place when I was done with it, I probably wouldn't have this problem. Tape measure, got it, check. Okay, the top and the backboard for the mirror are gonna be made out of one by eights. I'm simply just gonna cut them down to size and screw them together and then trim off the edges for a flush, clean edge. So now I'm gonna make the legs out of two by twos. I just happen, why are you not focusing on me? There you go. So now I'm gonna make the legs out of two by twos. I just happen to have some poplar two by twos that I made up for another project. But if you didn't have this, you could use uh, just some stock pine from your box stores or, uh, or two by fours. You could rip them down out of a two by four, which is what I would have done. Um, all right, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, while I will provide plans on the site for a table just like this, or a vanity just like this, I'm not actually following any plans. So what I'm gonna do now is I need to cut my aprons and I am going to first figure out how long my aprons need to be. Okay, so what I did there was I took those legs, lined them up, measured out what I would need left and then subtracted an inch. I'm gonna have a half inch, I'm gonna have the top overhang the apron, no, the legs by a half inch on both sides. So an inch together, I subtracted an inch from what was left. And now it's time to go cut them. Okay, now obviously the aprons are made out of one by fours, but they can't be that deep. The proportions just wouldn't be right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip these down to about two and a half inches wide. Um, I'm gonna play with that scale and make sure everything looks good. But uh, I'm thinking about two and a half inches wide will be good. Then I'm gonna add some detail with a jigsaw and uh, kind of lay out a little template. Hopefully it works out, let's see. Okay, I know I said jigsaw before, but I have a bandsaw, so I'm gonna use that.
right now it's time to assemble this bad boy so I'm actually just gonna drill some pocket holes in the aprons attach those to the legs and then attach the whole thing to the top then I'll add the um, the backboard for the mirror onto the back So I'm looking at the backboard for the mirror and it's just really plain. It's just flat on the sides and I think I can do better than that. So what I'm gonna do, I've got some leftover from my one x four. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna cut out a little detail to add to the side at the bottom of the, uh, the backboard for the mirror and I think it'll work out pretty good. Here goes nothing. Okay, so before we attach the top, I am going to build a little tray, which is basically just going to be three one by twos that are mitered at 45 degrees and they connect to the outside of the, the backboard, which will house the mirror. Um, the, uh, the purpose behind this tray is just to hold her like nail polishes and accessories and stuff like that, since this vanity is not going to have a drawer. Okay, so now that we got this thing all assembled, I'm going to blow it off with a blower to get the dust off. Then I'm going to prime it and paint it with a blush pink paint that we picked out for, uh, for Madison. I think she'll like it. We'll see. Okay, so today is Christmas Eve, so we're gonna get this vanity all set up by the tree and ready for when Maddie comes down Christmas morning. <laughs> 